Well, I'm definitely not going out there. Hi, I'm Trisha at Roots Nursery. I'm sitting on the floor in the middle of my bedroom because it's December and it's cold outside. If you could hear it, I'm sure you could see I have a little cold. Um, so there are definitely some things you can start indoors in the middle of the summer. I've got Michael Dur Durr's book on this wonderful book on plant propagation to learn how to do the tree seeds that I collected in the fall. And I've got some catalpa seeds, some northern catalpa seeds that I collected, and I've got some red bud seeds. And there are all kinds of things if you, to grow to start in the winter if you're into winter sowing. You could do all kinds of perennials, that, a lot of which flower the first year, um, just by throwing seeds in a milk jug and some dirt and sticking them outside just to keep them in place. Um, today I'm doing tree seeds. So Dur says um, that these red bud seeds need to be stratified. So I got some hot water for a hot water soak and then I will put them in a plastic bag when they're finished soaking. I just put a, a handful of potting soil in here, got it moist, and I'll put the seeds in here and poke them with a fork and um, stick them in the fridge for three months. So three months is normal. 90 days is a normal cold period stratification, so we 90 to 100 days, so it might be a little early since seeing it's a, the middle of December, but we want to plant these out when the weather is around, I think, 70, 60 or 70. Um, so that's in zone 5, that would be April, maybe May, so January, February, and March, we got 90 days there. And then starting in April, middle of April, could, could go 100 days. We'll plant them out. I read in Durr's book that they need a hot water soak for about 30 minutes. Actually, it should be acid, but I don't have acid here, so I'm just going to use a hot water soak. I've also got some catalpa seeds. And those said they don't need any pretreatment. And here's the actual seed. And I cracked that open and I got a ton and I'm soaking them now but I'm not going to do them all because I'll, I'll do most of them in the spring I've got a whole envelope full of seeds here I just want to see if they if they start that'd be cool okay so I'm working to get these seeds out of the pot not that easy but it's fun there's a seed you know, when they sink, they're good. When they float, they're bad. So, get rid of those. Oh, there's another one. It takes a while. But it's December. What else do I have to do? Okay. I think these are about done soaking. So, I'm going to pour some of that, this water out of here. And then put them in the bag that I prepared. I just put a handful of potting soil in a Ziploc bag and gave it a label so I knew what it was and when I started it. And then I, I got the soil moist. You don't want it to be wet because you don't want your seeds to rot, but you do want it to keep it moist throughout the winter. So while it's in the freezer, um, check it every couple of months. Make sure it's still moist and add a little water if you need to. So I'm just going to pour some of the water out. Roman bag. Close it up. Shake it up a little bit. And then poke some holes in here so there's some air
I think some of them might sprout in three months. I, I did this with um, Japanese maple seeds and a couple started to sprout. Not too many. But when you do see them sprout, it is definitely time to take them out of there and plant them in the ground. So, in April I'll have some nice eastern red buds.